Guerrilla art is a new and improved way artists can get their creativity seen in today's society. It can be shown in many ways and through its use of marketing and advertisements, abstract use of framing, specific placement, and anonymity, guerrilla art is attracting all types of people. But what exactly is guerrilla art? And how has it become so popular in our society? Guerrilla art is a movement that started in the UK, but is now almost everywhere that graffiti is present in the world. In the US, it's sometimes known as the post-graffiti art, because it's said to have been developed greatly from graffiti, which will be seen in some of our pictures. However, guerrilla art doesn't just stop at writings on wall, but it also includes sculptures, paintings, advertisements, and pictures. The meanings behind guerrilla art are different depending on the piece, but artists are often trying to get their viewers, those that will see the image as they walk by, to alter their thoughts on something in their environment. Advertising is everywhere in our society. When we walk to class in the quad, when we go shopping at the mall, and even when we're driving our car down the highway, we see advertisements. Consumers are used to seeing ads everywhere they turn, and companies are always looking for innovative ways to get consumers' attention. Guerrilla art is a new form of advertisement that is getting companies the attention that they want. The unique design of the advertisement is provoking an interest in their consumer when they see the ad. Much like many of these ads that you see here. Scotch Bright is another company that's taken a guerrilla art approach to marketing for their new super absorbent sponge. They placed a sponge as a water fountain drain to prove how super absorbent it really was. Billboards are another way for companies to get their names out to consumers. However, billboards have been around for many years. They are made to be seen on the go and give the consumer a quick impression of the company. They definitely succeed in doing both of these things, but in today's society, simple billboards with the company name and slogan aren't really going to catch the attention of any consumers. Instead, guerrilla art and marketing can be used by companies to create a billboard that is like something we've never seen before. In this particular advertisement, we see how Formula Tooth Care is making strong teeth by ripping apart the billboard. Normal advertisements are restricted to certain landscapes, such as only having so much space they can use, or only having so many places they can be put. But guerrilla marketing tends to think outside the box, literally. Frames are usually used to contain an image, marking it off from its background in order to make it more visible. However, guerrilla art tends to steer clear of framing in order to increase the awareness of the artwork with its surroundings, as you can see in this photo. The back of the van is shown like Mary Poppins' bag with an endless supply of luggage. These caution cones placed by road construction are another example. Guerrilla art is different from regular art because it cannot be moved from place to place. This is what creates part of the interest in these types of artworks. Guerrilla art is being specifically placed to make sure that the people seeing it will be the ones that will show interest or reaction to it.
Viewers become intrigued by the anonymous art creations that guerrilla artists put around their city. There may not be a particular purpose for the artwork, or it may only apply to something the artist feels passionate about at the time, but not knowing where or when the next artwork will be found keeps everybody interested. With guerrilla art, the possibilities are endless. Keep your eyes peeled. You never know where it might show up next.